The pursuit of a remarkable achievement. LeBron James. LeBron James. What a journey that is to watch. NBA MVP, the finals MVP, most valuable player. It was unanimous. I knew from the moment I met LeBron that he had the ability and the courage to reach those amazing heights. The king has passed the captain. And he has. LeBron stands alone. To witness him breaking this record is truly remarkable. And I wanted to sit down with him and ask him just what it means to him and what it means to his legacy. How are you? Hey, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? One of my favorites. Good seeing you. Yes, sir. Always good seeing you. You know, look, you walking up, (laughs) before we get to a bunch of stuff, you look unbelievable. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, that. I mean, how much, you're like 15. Yeah, I leaned out, leaned out, you know, just trying to, um, you know, with all the miles that I, you know, I've accomplished in over the seasons and years and playing and stuff, just trying to figure out how I can keep my body going. Yeah, you, know, you look and, terrific. And, and keep uh, being great, so. Yeah. LeBron James era is underway. The king of is now the king of Cleveland basketball. The youngest player to reach 5,000. 10,000. Most points in the history of the game, and I know what a historian you are. About what does that mean? It's it's so crazy, Coach. Because I mean, obviously, I played you know for you a couple of times in our Olympic runs, and um, I never like sought out to accomplish. I know that. that. You're like I've always, ever since I was a kid, and my little league coach has always talked about the beauty of the past and the beauty of everybody feeling in a good rhythm and everybody feeling like they're important to the win. Yeah. Um, I've always knew that I had a, a, a God-given ability, but I wanted to use that for my teammates. For me to sit here as the all-time leader in points scored, it's like, it's mind-boggling because I never saw Well, it's, it. look, it hasn't been broken since Jabbar. Right. The new king of scoring has ascended his throne. This man has accomplished something that I don't think will ever happen again. You've been great for two decades. And so what did, how did the definition of great change along the way for you? I, I think, Coach, I think, and obviously you know this as well, I think for me, paying respect to the history of the game. Yeah, you've always done that. And, and I, I, it, when I first knew that I wanted to play the game of basketball, I... We'll go to the local library. I would always read about the likes of, like, you know, Jerry West and Oscar Robinson, and some of the greats, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Will Chamberlain, Tiny Archibald, Larry Bird, and all those guys, and Matty Johnson. I would read about the history of the game, and I knew right then and there that in order for those guys to be great, it had to be somebody before them that inspired them. Right. You know, so I looked for someone in the sports world, you know, being an underprivileged kid in the inner city of, of Akron, Ohio, for inspiration. So I looked for a couple people, and one was Michael Jordan. Oh, what a move by Jordan! Oh! Michael Jordan! There's Jordan for three! Yes! Uh, <laughs> another one was Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah. And, and Deion Sanders. You know, I love sports, and those guys not only played at an exceptional talent and exceptional level, they also, they had a joy, you know? So I just yeah. always said, if I had any opportunity to be able to play this game, I have to commit to it. 1,000%. That's so key word. 1,000. Your career, kind of mirrors the growth of social media. So you're also scrutinized. Right. So handling all, all of that, how has that been? That's that's one of the biggest challenges as well, coach. I mean, um, I was one of the one of the first high school yeah. games. We never recruited ever you. Tal- <laughs> no. Why you why you didn't recruit? Well, me, because coach? I knew you weren't coming. <laughs> well, you a smart man. I, I knew you smart. weren't coming. <laughs> I'm honorary, I'm honorary Dookie. I'm out of Duke. Uh, I'm out of Any time, any time, any time. Tell me about the expectations. <laughs> no, I think, you know, I came up in an era where I, 
I was right there at the beginning of high school nationally televised game. The backcourt, down to two seconds. James has to fire it up. And he bats it home. It's going. That's not fair. Look at the crowd. My senior year, you know, I was on ESPN and playing the number one team in the country, and I, I was like, oh, this is this landscape is going to change, and, and, and I have to be ready for yeah. it, you know. And also, you know, my my junior and senior year, I, I barely played in our high school arena. Our our, our high school moved our games to the oh, University yeah. of Akron. And a right-handed finger roll finish by LeBron. So then I was I started to think as a 16, 17 year old, I was like. Oh, this is a business as well. You know, I say, okay, they want more people in the stands, need more concession, need more tickets, need more people. Oh, it's a business. So I was at the start of like the social media yes, part yeah. and at the start of the business, and I'm learning at 17 years old. That helped me to when I got drafted to, you know, the NBA. I was kind of already kind of fast tracked on what to become, understanding like, yes, this is. Fun. This is the NBA. This is your dream. But understand, there's social, there's business that goes along with this too. So you have to always be conscientious of that. James has an every night pressure that no one else has. Probably the most anticipated debut of any first year athlete in any sport. Look, I've coached for almost five decades, and uh, youngsters coming into our program feel a great deal of pressure. But it's not nearly the amount of pressure that was on LeBron. For many years, this franchise was looking for a savior. Everybody was talking about he was going to be one of the greatest of all time. It's a lot of pressure to put on a high school kid. To go from high school and being the number one pick and being that age, 18, there's no pressure. Oh, my! It's no pressure at all. I've been getting pressure since I was 10 years old. I know how to play the game of basketball, and, and that's what I will fall back on. I don't really get involved into the whole pressure thing. He's not only the number one pick, but he gets picked by his home team. So he's the savior, and he's still a teenager. I'm not afraid of failure. Uh, I'm not afraid of setback. I really want to lift this franchise up. I'm just really excited about being a Cavalier, uh, wearing that white and gold. So when you were that age, and you are already people saying you're great. By the way, when did you get the chosen one tattoo? I got that after... After my rookie year okay. in the NBA. So it wasn't in high school? No, but uh, it was a magazine, a local magazine, my sophomore year, actually used that on one of the Clippers after one of my games. They was like, <laughs> is this kid the chosen, the chosen one? one? You know, and I, I was like, oh, that's that's pretty cool. I yeah. mean, I don't know if I am, but it sounds cool, so. Well, I love that. <laughs> one, I don't know if you remember, one time I saw in the locker room, <laughs> I said, that's a cool tattoo. I'm going to get one. Yeah. Do you remember what you told me? Yeah, so you get the chosen two. No, no. You said, coach, there's only one chosen one. Oh, you, well, there it is. And you might have been him. I should have took it off no, my back. No, no, I'll show you. <laughs> so great at that time. Like, like, for me, somebody, great's overused. Mm -hmm. And in your case, it's, I think, underused. But by making the, some of the decisions you, you have, Cleveland to Miami, you go back to Cleveland uh, to go to L.A. That puts a lot of pressure on, on you. Yeah, to yeah. win. Yeah. To win. Yeah. Did you do that on purpose, or what was your thinking? Well, I mean, the, obviously going to Miami was, was the most pressure I've ever felt. On behalf of all of South Florida, thank you. Welcome. How does it feel wearing a heat uniform? Going down there and teaming up with D-Way's greatness, teaming up with Bosh. I love and, those guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great guy. I love yeah, those guys yeah. to the uh, forever. And so, you know, to be able to go down there and accomplish what we wanted to accomplish, winning, you know, multiple championships, that was that was huge. Let the coronation begin. LeBron James has helped crown Miami. The Miami Heat have won the 2013 NBA title. And then this, the, it was a, it was a part of me in my stomach that felt like I had not accomplished or, or reached my I goal yeah. back in Cleveland. So I went back there with a, with a lot of uh, expectation. I'm a dude what makes my city happy. And that's why I came back. I love you. I'm back. 
and, and teaming up with, with Kyrie. Kyrie, but he's, know, he's start. Yeah, he's starting. He's young and, you know, he's very ambitious. And But I, I could see the talent in him. And, and having Kevin Love, who's such a, Kevin you know, is, you know yeah. great, a great pickup for us, it did become a lot of pressure um, of, of trying to end a 52-year drought of, wow, of not winning a, a, winning a championship. And being able to accomplish that, that was the hardest one. That had to be one. so emotional. That was the hardest one. The drought is over. The curse destroyed. Cleveland, this is for you. Being able to come back from 3-1 versus that juggernaut of a team in Golden State with the great Steph and Clay and Draymond and all those guys. And then go to LA to add more pressure to myself of just the legacy of the Lakers in general. It's been a long 10 years, but once more, the Los Angeles Lakers are NBA champions. Much more of that. I'm a basketball player. And I feel like whatever team decides to pick me, they won't be disappointed. The most prepared high school player ever. I love basketball. I love the game and the history of the game. With the first pick, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. LeBron to win the game! To watch the journey of LeBron has been so fulfilling for me because I knew him when he was 21. I hope I can put a lot of smiles back on the people's faces in Cleveland. Break down you for the game! Y'all gonna be excited about coming to the game. LeBron James, look out below! LeBron keeps adapting. He continues to improve his game. LeBron James for three. Got it! The brilliant feat of LeBron. Operating with the eyes in the back of his head. In this fall, I'm gonna take my talents to South Beach. Not two, not three. Back to back titles for the Heat. The kid from Akron has come home. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. The expectation levels that he had in Cleveland and Miami, back to Cleveland and L.A., he's constantly gotten better. LeBron James, fourth championship. He has not rested on what he's done. He's been hungry to do what needs to be done now. How has the NBA changed during yeah. your time? And you have had to adapt. Yeah, well, I mean, when I came into the game, it was very low possessions. Yeah. Um, it was not many pick and rolls. It was the big forwards. It was big forwards and centers. It was Shaq, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Malone was still in the league. They was like, throw the ball into the post. So, yeah. You know, everybody kind of stands still, let the big work. And if it's a double, kick it out, swing, swing. That was kind of the game. And then, you know, Mike D'Antoni came changed. to Phoenix. Yeah. Steve Nash gets there and it became how many possessions and how many threes we can run get up. The run into the Yeah, run into the corners. So I had to adapt to that. Um, and then a young kid by the name of Steph Curry enters our league, <laughs> and, and it becomes pace and space. The game is changing in front the of our NBA is really evolving. These three-pointers. And they started to value the game of analytics. What gets lost in translation is the basketball IQ. How many smart guys can you put on the floor together, no matter if I can shoot a three at a high percentage, no matter if I'm a super athlete, how many smart basketball players can I have on right. my team? Because that will cover up for anything that we can't do. When I coached you for that, that little bit, I would always go home and tell Mickey, I said, you know, like I know a lot of people are the, who's the greatest and whatever, but uh, LeBron, he's the most complete. Like, he can play every position. He can guard every position. When you think of yourself as a player, how would you describe you? Um, I kind of describe myself as like a Swiss Army knife. Yep. You know, yep. it's a little pair of scissors on there. Um, it's a knife on there. It's a, it's a wine opener on there for me and you. <laughs> After this yeah. conversation, <laughs> you, better open, you better open your best <laughs> stuff. I got some good stuff, too. I know you do. Uh, I'm always liked when my little league coach or my high school coach would just call me a, I'm just a basketball player. Yeah, that's what I'm, I mean. I'm not a point guard, I'm not a shooting guard, I'm not a small forward, a power, I'm a basketball player. Whatever the team needs, you can put me on the floor, you can implement me in there and I can make it happen. And, you know, being able to, in year 18 of my career when we won the championship, um, you know, with the Lakers, I started at point guard, led the yeah. league and assists. Yeah. You know, um, in Miami, uh, I, I played all five positions for Coach Spoke, and we was able to win two titles. 
If I'm on uniform and I'm on the floor, I don't want to be a liability. How about the longevity of LBJ? Blocked from behind, blocked by James. Chase down by the right. I've been able to stay healthy. I've been able to be out there on the floor. Defying father time. In the history of the game, no one has prepared any better than LeBron. He knows what everybody does, strengths and weaknesses. Oh my, LeBron with a pressure inside. Machine. I want to tell you exactly what I do, because I'll be giving my opponents my ingredients. The young NBA now, they're taking the page out of LeBron's book, how he takes care of his body. Spend a lot of time, a lot of time on my body. A lot of people want to win, unless you're, something's wrong with you. But not many people want to prepare at the level it takes to be a champion, and he's always been willing to make that preparation. This record has occurred, too, because you've been healthy. When did you get so anally prepared? I've been doing this since high school. And then even, even in high school, I was icing after games. Like, you know, a lot of, a lot of the kids, obviously they, they don't know or whatever, but I would see photos of the pros and they would have ice bags on their knees. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, they're successful. So I would, I would try it. But, you know, as I got into the, in the NBA, I figured that if, if I want to make a long, sustainable career and I want to be the greatest to play this game, I have to be available. Yeah, you have to, yeah. I can't, I can't you be. You gotta play. Yeah, I gotta play. I can't be as great as I want to be. I can't be viewed as one of the greatest to ever play Not this game. Not only to play, but to play at a high. To play at a high level. In our sport, they say, okay, oh, you're 33 years old. Years old. Right. You're going to start tapering. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be a part of that that statistic. Great doing, ones never do. Yeah, I didn't want to be a yeah. part of that, Coach. So I think that that prepared me for that for that moment to be able to do the things that I'm doing that hasn't been done in, in, in our sport. When I talk about Akron, Ohio, and I talk about where I grew up, my mother had everything to do with me being successful now and being the person who I am today. So, you know, family and commitment, it's got to start with mom, right? Uh, I, I mean, I, for the obvious reason, I wouldn't be here today without That's mom. Uh, She's like my best friend. Just knowing, like, the sacrifice that she, you know, had and did and everything was, like, for me. Yeah. You know, my mom was 16 years old when she had me. And as a kid, you don't, you don't really understand that. When you get older and you have kids of your own, you're like, oh, my God, you was a high school sophomore? Just knowing the commitment that she had for me and, and the sacrifice, it's nothing this world wouldn't do for her. I am who I am because of her. Bryce, what is it? Taco Tuesday! Savannah, what is it? <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday! You think you're out of it, Ronnie? What is it? Taco Tuesday! You have a beautiful family. You and Savannah have been yeah. together since high school. Yeah. Three beautiful kids. And you, you're going to Bronny's games? Yeah. <laughs> I got to start this off by just giving the biggest shout out and salute to Savannah because I've literally been traveling for over 20 years. Yeah. In order for me to be able to accomplish what I've done over these two decades, I had to have the rock and the support that I got from Savannah. Yeah. There's no way that I would have been able to enjoy these moments or be able to commit to my craft. She's allowed me to do this. My beautiful wife has been I mean, she's the real MVP, if you want to be completely honest. She's actually the all-time leading scorer. So you said you want to play with your son yeah. in the pros. So I just got through coaching my grandson. That's amazing. So we can count on that for... Uh, well, my, my, I've done my job, Coach. Now, it's up to Bronny now to do Yeah, no but, <laughs> no, but it's your job. To, I got to stay, stay in shape still. I got to make sure you that You can't I, be hanging yeah, on, man. No, nah, I can't be just hanging on by a thread. <laughs> yeah. I can't do that. LeBron James, 36 points away from breaking Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time scoring record. Hey! I get it. We on the verge of breaking this record. LeBron said we all would be witnesses. And we are tonight. You know what's coming. LeBron James has shot in history. Yes! LeBron stands alone. 
know, a lot of people wanted me to go to the sky hook to break the record. Once I get in a good rhythm, then I feel like I make any shot on the floor. I was able to get to a, one of my patented fadeaway shots. There he is! The king has passed the captain! No, you can't. That moment was, that moment was amazing. What does it mean to be able to have broken that record and you're still in prime? I mean, you're, you got a lot of 40 point games yeah. and you know, you're not, you're not like backing into it. <laughs> Coach, it is, if I could sit here and say that, like I always knew this, I, I don't. Did it just kind of like. It just kind of happened. Yeah. Like I've been just, you know, every year it was like the youngest to 1,000, youngest to 2,000, youngest to five, youngest to 10, youngest to 20. You don't and, put it together, though. Yeah, I never put it together yeah. because I've always seen that that 38, 7, whatever case with Kareem. And I was like, what? Yeah. That's never, nobody's ever getting to that. Right. Nobody's ever getting to that. And to sit here today and know that I've, you know, not only broken the record, but I still feel so good that I could continue to go. Yeah. That's up, That's up, my dog. I'll win the game now. I'm still on a quest to continue to be as great as I can be to kind of see how far this guy can yeah, actually yeah. go. Um, but it's definitely an honor. Well, man. you got to also be, you're, you're, you're concerned about winning games. Yeah, I want to win. I want to win. Yeah. I still have the ability to change a franchise. And in my sport, it's winning championships and changing the landscape of how you play. So I'm truly honored. Obviously, salute to Kareem. Kareem with the sky. You are watching what greatness is This guy will be remembered as the Babe Ruth of basketball. He probably has one of the best basketball resumes that we've ever seen ever across seen. the board. It's just very humbling um, to, to, to sit here and know that when my name get mentioned, you know, my city will be mentioned, my family will be mentioned, um, the coaches that I've played for, you know, a lot of my teammates that I play with will be, will be mentioned along this journey. Um, so that that's the most um, honorable thing for me. And it's going to keep going, by the way. See how far. Yeah, it goes. let's see how far it goes. <laughs> for me, I, I love coaching you and the relationship we developed, but also now the friendship that, that we developed. Absolutely. Thank you for what you've done for the game. I appreciate it. You're you're a good man. I'm proud uh, to be your listen, friend. Man, it means a lot to have a to have our friendship that we have. And uh, it meant a lot to be able to just play for, you know, like Coach K. Congratulations. Appreciate I can't it, wait. Coach. Uh, I hope it takes Bronny a while <laughs> to make it so that we get a chance to yeah, see you. Yeah. All right, man. Coach Love. All right, all right. thank love you. you, brother. LeBron is certainly the most complete player I've ever been around. Greatest of all time. I don't want to hear nobody else's name, ever. Mm. LeBron certainly has a right to that GOAT claim. Establishing this record is a separator because it shows not only what you've done, but you've had to do it for a long period of time. How about the longevity of LBJ? To me, man, that's Benjamin Button. Can you say he's up there with Cal Ripken in terms of longevity? You have to do it over two decades, and he's still committed. That'll be a record that I'm not sure anybody will break, and that's why he is so remarkable.